Hello, I am the Pocketbook Huntress and welcome to my channel. Tonight, I'm going to show you my newest acquisition. This is the Vogue 25 in the Jacquard print with the lips from the Tom Russellman collection. So, this is one of those bags that when I first saw it in the store, I was like, mm, I don't really think so. But the more I look at the bags, the more they're growing on me, okay? And this is yet again another fun bag. I tell you guys that at this point in time in my life, moving into 2023, I am going to have some fun, okay? I'm going to have some fun. I'm just going to have some fun. I'm going to make more time this year for me. Whether that's getting my nails done or getting my hair done or buying a new outfit. And while I'm having all this fun, I need to be cute, right? So I think that this collection is a lot of fun in this collection. So the thing about this bag is that I did not know if I wanted to add this bag to my collection because it was very similar to one that I already had. And I kind of like didn't want to, you know, um, double dip, you know, um, I didn't need to recreate the wheel. Okay. So it's very similar to this bag. So this is what's the hold up. Okay. So as I was thinking to myself, I'm going to pass on that Tom Russellman bag, um, this particular one in this pattern because I have this beautiful Jacquard Rogue in 25, right? But there are some differences between these bags. The first thing I want to do is give you the style numbers for both of the bags. So the Tom Russellman bag, which is this one, is style number CA119. And the signature Jacquard without any embellishments is C6444. The name of this bag, its official name from its tag that Coach created, is the Signature Textile Jacquard Rogue 25. That is its name, style number C6444. So, there are some differences between these two bags. The first thing and the main difference, okay, other than the lips, okay, is going to be the material so where this bag is suede here and suede on the inside of the bag this one is leather here and suede on the inside okay now I will tell you that since I have started doing these videos I have truly learned some things about my style, okay? I have truly learned that I am attracted to this particular color leather. I am very much so attracted to this color, okay? When I start looking at uh, my collection and I start looking at the videos, I'm noticing, hey, you're repeating this same color over and over and over again so you just start to learn a few things about your collection you probably knew it you know you know uh, um, subconsciously but it's one thing to really see you know how you're recreating or how you're re-adding the same things into the collection the same colors okay it's i'm not saying it's good i'm not saying it's bad i'm not saying it's right i'm not saying it's wrong i'm saying it's what i do is what i like obviously because i keep doing it okay so this bag has, um, I'm not sure what color this one is. So this is this is a cocoa um, and burnished amber. And I think this one is called the same thing as far as that's concerned. This one is also cocoa and burnished amber, okay? So basically, the bags are supposed to be the same color with the exception of the lips, okay? But they really are, but they aren't. As you can see, this bag has that cocoa color that goes all the way through it, where this one, I believe this color is called teak. It has teak, okay? If you look at the handles of this rogue, 
they are a much different color than this one. Okay, these are all the differences in the bags. So they are similar yet different. Now, does that justify having two of these bags that are very similar in my collection? I don't know yet. I'm still trying to figure that out, okay? So if I turn this bag this way, you're pretty much looking at the same bag, just about. Pretty much the same. So the question is, can I justify both of these bags in my collection? Or do I need to send one of the bags back? This bag has been in my collection for almost for over a year, so it's not going anywhere. So the bag that would have to go back would be this one. Now, also the difference with, about this bag is this hang tag. It's just leather, and this one has the 1941 hang tag. Now, somewhere I read or heard or something that the Steve Russellman estate and his family because the artist had passed, um, didn't want any branding on the bag. And I guess this is Coach's branding. So they just opted for this very simple, you know, hang tag without, you know, the 1941 branding. Me personally, I would have preferred to have the branding. Um, I, that's just my personal opinion. I, you know, I'm not really sure why the most of the other rogues that are by um, other art artists have the same hang, hang tag. So I just, I'm not really a fan of that, but I am a fan of the collection. Okay, so can I justify both of these? Okay, when you look at these lips, <laughs> the red is so stunning. Okay, and I can see myself, you know, rocking this bag with a pair of jeans and some boots and a leather jacket and just be on my way with these lips showing, okay? Now, when I go to the office, here you go, I have a meeting, here you go, but I wanna have some fun, okay? So, again, can I justify having both bags that are so similar in my collection? Now, the bag when I got this bag in and I opened him up, he was a tad bit dry. So I did put a little conditioner on him um, just to wake him up a little bit. It's just like, you know, this is skin, just like your own skin. If you take a shower and, you know, you don't moisturize your skin, it's going to be dry until you moisturize it. So most of us moisturize our skin right after our showers. So that's what happened with this bag. It needs to be have a little moisturizer. So I just put a little bit on just to revive it. And it's a beautiful bag, okay? Decisions, 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 right? I just don't know. What do you guys think? To keep the bag or not to keep the, keep the bag? That is the question. I don't know. I just feel like they are the same yet different. I have other bags in my collection that are very similar but yet different. The biggest difference again with these bags is gonna be this applique as opposed to being plain, okay? I don't know. It's something, again, it's something about that leather that just does something to me, does something to my heart. It makes my heart sing that color, okay? So I think that, I don't know. I'm gonna have to think on this. I'm gonna really have to think on this. But I do want to know what you guys think. Tell me down in the comments if you think that this bag is too similar to this bag and that I should not keep them both or tell me um, if you do think I should keep them both. But do me a favor. Give me your rationale of why you think that. The rationale of why you think I should keep the bag or the rationale of why you think I should not keep the bag. Now. In my heart of hearts, I'm leaning more towards keeping the bag. I haven't 100% totally made up my mind yet, but just because I did condition it a little bit, I'm thinking that maybe I should keep it. Um, however, Coach would probably be very, very pleased that I took good care of their bag, okay? 
and that they're going to receive the bag back in excellent condition better than the way they sent it to me okay so i want to let you guys know that this morning on the coach website um there are lots of um there are lots of additional bags i'm not going to say there are new bags because we've seen all of those bags before but there are a lot of additional bags right now there are additional bags in this line um, that first uh, bag that sold out really fast with the lipstick and the nail polish, that bag was there um, this morning. Um, a lot of the duffel bags were there this morning. I haven't checked the website tonight, but they could still be there. So if you missed out on those bags and you really want to get them, you might want to check out the website right now um, for opportunity um, to see if they're still there. Um, again, let me see what else did I see there this morning. I did see, um, oh, the, um, the pillow tabby. Um, 26 in red is also there right now um, that one had been missing for a while um, and what else did I see there um, just just a, a, a several things so if, if you um, wanted one of the styles from the last couple of seasons and you missed it okay now might be a good time to go on the website and have a look at that also this video will possibly be my last video for 2022 i'm not 100% sure yet but it might be okay depends on what i find you know how soon it has how soon i can get it into the house you know we just don't know um so we shall see but i do want to uh, um, just let you guys know that we are going to be having a giveaway on this channel once we reach 100 subscribers so we're almost there yet we're almost there we're somewhere in the low 90s um, but once we get to 100 we will do a giveaway I have not decided um, as of yet you know what is going to be but it's going to be something also uh, if you have enjoyed any part of this video please subscribe to my channel okay and once you subscribe please hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Now, also, I love to talk to you guys in the comments. And again, I've given you something to talk to me about tonight as far as these bags are concerned. What I want to know is, should I keep both of these bags? Are they too similar? If I should keep the bag, yes, I should keep it. And what is your rationale for me keeping the bag? And if no, I should not keep it, again, what is the rationale, you know, for me not keeping the bag? It could be as simple as the bags are too similar. Or it could be as complicated as pi, okay? When I say pi, I mean, you know, the mathematical formula of pi, 3.14, okay? So, I think that's all I have for this video, okay? And again, this is an awfully fun collection. So, if you were not able to um, pick up some of the earlier bags, they were on the website this morning, um, this one is still there. Um, I think the one with the the, the red lips, um, just the one big pair of red lips on the brown is still there also. So um, go ahead and check it out right now and see if there's anything there that you'd like to have. With that being said, I think that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Um, this has been um, my first you know YouTube experiment and I, I'm thinking that as we move into the next year I've got some plans for the channel I promise to learn how to edit because none of my videos are edited they are all raw because I don't know how to edit yet but I do have um, some people that are going to be helping me um, with editing um, <laughs> all that stuff coming up in the new year so thank you so much for your your support and your continuing support and I will see you guys in the next video hopefully before 2023 and if i don't see you before 2023 have a happy new year and i'll see you in 2023 if the lord says the same thank you bye bye